Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Fallout New Vegas. The Let's Play series in this year of our Lord 2023. We are trying to get Ted back to his father if he's still alive. We need to ask around. You straight, bro? Good. How may I be of service, sir? What y'all all about? My, such a popular question. I suppose it is only natural to see us and wonder what it is that makes us special. The White Glove Society has only just made itself known to the public, of course. But our pedigree was established over generations. Yeah, yeah. Were we always so refined? <laughs> I'd be lying if I said yes. But I've always felt we were destined for a place atop modern society. And now, here we are. Not everyone can wear the finest clothes and eat the finest foods, obviously. That's just the reality we live in. But surely we can agree that the most tasteful, sophisticated people are the most deserving. Wow. And that's what the White Glove Society is white. all about. Why you have to say white like that, bro? White. I don't know if I want to do some work for you, but I'm going to ask anyways. No, not from the likes of you, I'm afraid. Hey, yo. I don't think you'd have the stomach for it. Better look elsewhere. Bruh. Indeed. You're a... Lucky they took all my weapons, little bro. Little bro, bro. Morning. Blessed day, Commander. Gotta find this dude's son. God, this place is huge. Hello. Yeah, no. I've heard you have to make reservations at the Gorman years in advance. Welcome to the Ultra Lux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. Why, thank you. Heck, Gunderson said he was here to talk business with you. What business? What else? Mr. Gunderson and I have been discussing his livestock. It's put us in a rather delicate position, you see, his coming here. Not that we aren't grateful for his generous offer. But our executive chef, Philippe, has transformed Brahmin steak into a delicacy. He really is a genius. Everyone wants it. But a delicacy is just that. Delicate. If everyone can get it, it ceases to be a delicacy. It becomes a perfectly ordinary staple. And if the gourmand serves staples, it would no longer draw the caliber of people it deserves. It would be a diner or... A family restaurant. So as much as we'd all love for there to be enough steak for everyone, I'm afraid there are more important things to consider. These people are monsters. This again? I thought this was all settled. I answered every one of that investigator's questions to his satisfaction and gave all the help I could. I know our reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. How some people can't get over it is beyond me. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. It's written in the Charter. Yeah, who was in here asking questions? There was an investigator who came through here last week. He'd been hired by a young man whose bride-to-be went missing during their stay here. Well, you can already guess what probably happened, can't you? It seems perfectly likely that she got cold feet and ran off. And that young groom just didn't have a clue, the poor dear. Oh, I'm not looking for her. A man? Broad. Well, then this... Well, this can't be. Two disappearances in my hotel? What will people say? I'm going to have a word with my staff about security on the premises. Whether these people are found or not, our guests simply must feel safe in their own rooms. Where does Dodak go? Well, yes, I think so. If he hasn't checked out yet, that is. I had our Mater D Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. You see, 
the White Glove Society remains the very picture of courtesy, even in the face of such impolite accusations. We have nothing to hide here. White Glove used to eat tainted meat. Now, didn't I already tell you that we don't do that sort of thing? We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. Though we haven't always been the White Glove Society. There was another time, a dark time, when we went by a different name. But that's all changed now. Mm. We've evolved past such base impulses since settling into our new home. I've seen to it that those days are behind us. It's okay. I eat people too. You can tell me the truth. You disgust me. How dare you say such a filthy thing in my <laughs> establishment? I ought to have oh, you arrested. No. You'll kindly mind your tongue or we shan't speak any further. Hit me with the shant. Ta ta. Oopsies. People think I eat people now. Alright. Let's find this dude. Mortimer. Mortimer, my lord. Where have you gone? Lou. <laughs> Mortimer. Hello. Mortimer. Mortimer. Salutations. How may I be of service, sir? Private investigator. Ah, yes, I remember the gentleman. This was about the missing bride. Such an awful thing. I do hope he finds her whereabouts. If I might pry, have you found something that will help his investigation? I'm on another investigation, I'm hoping we can help each other. You are? Nothing so grim as his investigation, I hope. Now, ordinarily, we don't give out guest information, but I think, given the circumstances, he'll want to speak with you. Let's see. He hasn't checked out yet. If you head back to the hotel rooms, his will be one floor directly above you after you exit the lobby. I hope we can put this whole matter to rest at last. I heard y'all be eating tainted meat. Ah, yes. I've heard that one, too. Not gonna pass that speech check. Indeed. Let's. Indeed. Next time I level, man, you better believe I'm putting it in the speech. I'm trying to get the juicy, juicy. Juicy, juicy, juicy. All right, where did I come from? All right. See if we can't find the ring. Oh my lord. Yo! You like that? I'm gonna die here. You like that? Come on. Yeah, I'm dead. Well, that's tragic. What am I supposed to do if I don't have any weapons? Hey, bro. You like that? I just get one of these dudes down, I could take his cane. Yeah, 
we're making progress at least. Bro broke my head though. Come on, we got him. You like that? Ow. Ow. Yeah. Yeah, now what's up? Now what's up? Now what's up, little bro? Yeah. What's up now? I try to beat me down with the cane. Now I'm all hurt. <clears throat> now we can mosey on back. After I gave bro the beat down. Blood all on the walls and the carpet. Fight for my life. All stirred up lately. Ultra Lux Steam Room at 4 p.m. Right, let's go meet your contact, shall we? This place is giving me the creeps. time is it is this the steam room i mean it's steamy in here did you know the strips all stirred up lately in the other game you could have a seat and wait oh, i can Nice. 347. Is that the contact? first you don't know oh good that's good so they didn't send you after me where's the gentleman i'm supposed to meet he's dead oh my goodness me they must know he was talking to someone on the inside they'll be watching everyone closer now i knew this was a mistake you afraid of mortimer if he realizes it was me the investigator was planning to meet, he'll have me killed. So he the one eating tainted meat? Yes. The White Glove Society strictly forbids eating humans. But we weren't always the White Glove Society. Mortimer and some of the others have regressed to the old ways. They've taken many people over the last few months, but always from freeside or secluded places where they wouldn't be missed. It wasn't enough. Lately, they've gone for tourists here on the Strip, even in the hotel. I guess that's the hazard of a cannibal becoming a gourmet. It's hard to please a refined palate. What was y'all supposed to talk about? The girl. The one who disappeared. I know what happened to her. Ow. Because I distracted her fiancé while they took her. Well, I'm not proud of it, but I had to. They could see I was having second thoughts. Some of the White Gloves began meeting privately a while back, started talking about how we'd lost our identity. I started attending because I thought it was about changing our politics. Then they started talking about returning to the old ways, and there was no way out. 
They'd kill me for the things I heard them say. Lord have mercy. What about Ted Ganderson? He's alive, as far as I know. I'm trying to keep him fresh. Mortimer has special plans for him. The White Glove Society has a banquet every night at 7. It's in our private section. Mortimer wants to reintroduce humans into our cuisine. Since eating people is a crime we punish by death, he's going to do it in secret. After everyone has eaten it, he'll tell them. With no real way to punish everyone, in Mortimer's mind anyway, their minds will be open to the idea of eating people as a delicacy. Good lord. Yeah, wouldn't they come after him for lying? They might, but to him, the legacy of returning to the old ways is worth his own life. I don't think he expects it, though. I don't either. Nothing is more important to the society than being on the cutting edge of New Vegas cuisine. Mortimer's idea will appeal to that need. He just has to get them over the taboo. I mean, he is rich. We would come through here and start popping everybody. That may be true, but I wouldn't recommend it. He's built a reputation, and it isn't for calmness and impartiality. He's not what he looks like. They call him Hurricane Heck. The man built his empire by hiring mercenaries to drive off the competition. Lately, he's been attacking our Brahmin suppliers so he can take over their business. He's the sort to pound in a nail with a wrecking ball. If you give him the whole story on this, he'd be liable to raise the entire hotel. And God knows what he'd do to the rest of the strip. Good Lord. Nobody's good. I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them have stopped trusting me. But you can bet they're keeping him near the gourmand. Our chef, Philippe, has an obsession with fresh ingredients. It'd be back in the members-only section, so you'll have to be careful. Don't be seen, and more importantly, don't let them see Ted in the open. It's guarded both at the lobby entrance and in the access tunnels leading from the main restaurant. I could sponsor you as an honorary member, but I don't know that you've achieved the level of status that would gain the society's approval. Perhaps if you were to gain some more notoriety on the strip, we could get you in. Otherwise, you'll have to find some way to get inside quietly. It won't be easy, and it'll be harder still to get them out. What do you suggest, little hmm. bro? Well, they'll all be sampling pre-war wines before the meal. Maybe it's as simple as drugging them. Although, that wouldn't stop any future kidnappings. You'd have to expose Mortimer, but he's going to confess anyway. What if... What if his revelation were a lie? What if no one had eaten human flesh but him? If you could somehow replace Philippe in the kitchen and serve a convincing substitute instead, you could walk Ted right through the middle of that room after Mortimer speaks, and then he'd have some explaining to do. Philippe has been trying to approximate the taste of human flesh for years. He must have a recipe somewhere. Let's plan on meeting again as soon as... Wait, did you hear something? Were you followed? Yo, yo, yo! Bruh. Since I got a pistol now. Holy. Hello, my lord. Can I walk around with a gun? They ain't gonna trip on me. What? What did I do? Why was I shunned? Yo, what did I do? Is it because I have my gun out? I'll put my gun away. So far, so good. If I walk in here, am I going to get beaten down? Welcome to the ultra... Why, yes, of course. The White Glove Society is the most exclusive club in all of New Vegas. 
perhaps the entire world. It's only natural that you'd need a sponsor from within the club who can vouch for your good name. Originally, we didn't allow anyone else in, you see. Founding members only. We thought exclusivity would make us the envy of everyone who's anyone. And it has. But then I had the idea to allow honorary members. Lower in status, mm -hmm. naturally. But it just makes people want to be us even more. And the right people could certainly do wonders for our image. Celebrities, philanthropists. We want only the very best. I'm afraid you are a relative unknown. Certainly not the caliber of person we would consider for such an honor. Not yet, anyway. If you had more notoriety or clout here on the Strip, things would be different. People need to have heard of you, and you must be well thought of. Suppose I'm gonna have to gain some notoriety. Somehow, some way. This is the dining area. as a white love society. What do you think you're doing? Mortimer sent me to move the kid. Thinks one of his own might betray him. First he's too trusting, now he doesn't trust any of us. It addles the senses. I suppose caution is the desirable course at this point. It's all of our necks if something goes afoul. These wines are set up to be taken by servers out to the banquet. I need medicine of 25 or higher to drug it, so I can't drug the wine. I don't think I'm going to spend the time finding a sponsor. Why are you standing still? Do you think the world waits for you while you stand there drooling? Get back out there and get to work. Who do you think you are talking to me that way? I think you got me confused with one of your little waiter boys. Oh, really? So despite your filthy face and your vacant expression and your complete lack of human dignity, you're telling me you're not a server? I'm a new honorary member. Well, what do you want? I'm very busy here. I think I saw a rad roach in the pantry. You should check it out. No, it'll ruin my ingredients. Let's, um, let's just shut you in here. I don't have a way to get out of here without making everybody hostile to me. So, no, I'd like to kill this dude. He's a monster. We got it. Now let's just hope that I, uh, these people will not kill me for having My him. daddy's gonna kill all you bastards once he finds out what you've done to me. Chill, chill, chill. Just My here to daddy get you out, bro. You? God damn it. I almost died in here. What the hell took you so long? It's just one damn hotel. Who did this to me anyway? They hit me over the head before I got a look at him. I don't know, bro. All right, fine. I'm right behind you. Let's 
Let's see if they're gonna be hostile to me if I'm running around with him. I already told this dude that I'm here to move him. So far, so good. Nobody's hostile yet. Oh my god. Ted, are you alright? Quit your hollering. I'm fine. You got me my boy back. I got no words. Now, I hope you didn't do no harm to whoever's responsible for this. I want to skin their hides myself. Why? It was Mortimer. I don't know who took him, I just found him. I don't want innocent people to be punished. Confound it. I just don't know how I'm supposed to sleep knowing whoever done this got away. All right. Well, I promised you I'd make it worth your while. So here you are. Try not to lose it all at the same casino. I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for joining. We got a couple new... We got a new patron member uh, on this last video. So I appreciate that so much. Uh, shouts out to y'all, man. It's a dollar a month if you want to join. Link is in the description. Till next time.